I'm going to show you how to make a simple bonnet and then I'm going to show you a technique of what I'd call like a lace cast on. So what you want to do is you want to cast on your first stitch, okay? Then you want to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to take that stitch and you're going to move it over to the next peg. Then you're going to go in and you're going to find your original cast on, which is this stitch here, which is the last one, and you're going to put it back on the peg. And you have your first loop. Now, you're going to do go to go to the next empty peg and you're going to cast it on loosely. Then you're going to chain e wrap chain 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one more, 10 move it over to the next peg go in and find your original stitch which you'll see is that one right there and you're going to put it back on the peg my suggestion with first time doing this technique use a yarn you can easily see your stitch work on i did it first on um, homespun it's going to be harder to tell Go to your next empty peg, cast on one, and then you're going to chain ten. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Move it over to the next peg. Pick up your original stitch, which you can see right there, and put it onto the peg. You now have three loops. Now what you're going to do is you're going to continue that process of working the next empty peg and moving over and doing that like we just did with these three loops. You're going to do it all the way around and you're going to stop here and you're not going to work circular, you're going to work flat. So what you're going to do is you're going to work that all the way around to here and then we'll go from there. But this is actually really not a bad pattern to work on and it teaches you a new technique so that if you don't get this you haven't invested a whole lot of time because after you get this initial cast on it's easy from here. So um, again you go to one more time you go to the next empty peg and you cast it on and then you wrap that same peg ten times and toss the bottom loop over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Move it over to the next peg and pull up your original stitching, which is right there. It's right at the end. It's the first bulkiness that you see right at the end of the chain line. And you're going to pull that up and onto the peg. Like that. Okay, so um, in the pattern, in the written pattern, I include how to go in and enlarge this, shrink this, make it in different sizes. This is kind of for an infant or a baby. Um, I give a formula of how to go in and do it. and. Um, this basically stays the same, but if you're going to change size uh, looms,
keep in mind you want an even number peg of looms um, an even number peg loom to use because you're using two to create those loops so go ahead and complete all the way around the loom to here and then we'll go from there okay we've worked our way all the way around to here and it's time to progress on so our next row is going to be a knit and then our next row is going to be a purl and we're working flat so what we're going to do is we're going to go back the direction we came so we're going to go back this direction i'm sorry for all the traffic there's road work going on outside so i'm sorry for the extra noise okay so we're going to go right back around we're going to be doing a flat knit if you have a hard time with a flat knit you can you knit my flat knit tends to come out more like a new unit anyway but um you're going to flat knit all the way around okay you're going to go back this direction and you're going to purl all the way around and you can release your starting Okay, we've worked our way entirely around and now we're going to do a row where we can send in a ribbon. And so we're going to do basically an eyeliding. So what you wanna do is you want to knit the first peg. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the next stitch, you're going to decrease it to the left your yarn over is going to lay the working yarn over that empty peg and then you're going to knit the next peg two stitches together so you're going to knit two stitches together okay then you're going to take the next stitch decrease it to the left yarn over and knit two together take the next peg Move the stitch to the left as a decrease, yarn over, and knit two stitches together. We'll try this much slower. You're going to take the next stitch, you're going to take it off the peg, you're going to move it to the next peg to the left, then you're going to pick up your working yarn and you're going to lay it over the empty peg, then you're going to knit the two stitches together so there's one and two you're going to do this all the way around just like this once you reach the other side then you're going to do a purled row and I consider this section the beginning of this to be the most difficult part of this pattern and if you want a smoother crown is going to be the next but most of this pattern is actually really quite simple okay and then knit the last one now that you've gone all the way around you're going to purl your way back this direction Okay, this is where you're going to get to um, where you're still, you're going to be working flat, but you're going to be doing just straight out knits. So um, you're going to do that for, okay, you're going to knit back and forth for a total of 15 rows straight, back and forth with a flat. And then we're going to start knitting circularly. So go ahead and knit 15 rows back and forth and then I'll show you the next section so go ahead and knit back and forth for 15 rows 
and then we'll move to the next section which is going to be circular. I mean this is what you should have so far. You'll see these little holes. This will be the area where you're going to weave your ribbon in and out of. And we've done our 15 rows. I'm going to do one more row of flat which will be row 16 and then I'm going to start working circularly. Okay. Now we're going to start working circularly rather than flat. So you're going to just keep going straight in one direction. And you're going to do this for a total of 15 rows. So you're just going to keep going circularly in the same direction for 15 rows. So this will be row 1 for the circular section. And this is the back of the head. This is working the crown section here. And here we go. We're going to cross over and keep going circularly. So just keep going. This will be row 2. So keep going for a total of 15 rows and then I'll show you the bind off. Okay, we've done our 15 rows straight. Now we're ready to do the crown. And so what we're going to do is what I call like a, a version of the drawstring, um, fine gauge drawstring bind off. So what you're going to do is you're going to knit two, take that second stitch, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, and move it over. Then you're going to knit four. One, two, three, four. Then you're going to take that last stitch you knit, you're going to move it back one, toss the bottom loop over, and move it forward one. Knit four more stitches. One, two, three, four. Take that last loop, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, move it over one. You're going to knit four stitches. One, two, three, four. Take that last stitch, take it back one peg, toss the bottom loop over, and move it forward one. Knit four, one, two, three, four. Take that last stitch you knit, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, take that loop, and move it forward. Knit four, two, three, four. Take the last loop, move it back one, toss the bottom loop over, move it forward. You're going to do this all the way around. And knit the last two stitches when you get back to your beginning point. Okay, at this point you're going to knit all the pegs with stitches on it. So there you go. One, two, three. Go back around. Back side of that empty one. And you're going to knit. You're going to take it back around and knit. Back of the empty peg and knit back of the empty peg and knit. Once you reach the beginning what you're going to do is you're going to knit three. You're going to take that last stitch, take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, move it forward. Go around that back side of that empty peg, knit three, take that last stitch, Take it back one, toss the bottom loop over, move it to the next peg. Take it back behind the empty peg, knit three. Move it back one, toss the bottom loop over, and move it forward one. And what you'll see is you have every other peg empty. You're going to continue this process all the way around. Every other peg should be empty at this point. So the next thing you're going to do is knit a row with just the stitches, the pegs with stitches on it. And you're going to take the yarn, the working yarn behind the empty pegs. Take it behind, knit. Take it behind, knit. You're going to do just one row of this. At this point you're going to cut yourself a long tail. 
this is where you're going to bind all, you're going to do the drawstring. What you're going to do first is you're going to take every other loop off. So this is going to be your first one. You're going to skip that one and take off the next one. Skip that one, take off the next one. Skip that one, take off the next one. Do that all the way around. Now that you've reached back to your beginning point, you're still going to skip that one and you're going to move to the next one. And you're going to take the last of the stitches off all the way around. Put your loom aside. Okay, you know that this was the last stitch you pulled off, so you know you're going to want to pull this one to tighten. Okay, then you're going to pull the outside one. And that tightens it. Okay, there's your drawstring. Now what you want to do is you want to stretch your stitches. Okay. And if you stick your fist in there, you'll see. Now if you're working with more pegs than this, you'll want to do two rows of a uh, knit between your decrease rows. Um, but if you're doing a smaller loom, this is how you do it. Get that real nice smooth crown area. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to, um, I like to take a crochet hook and pull that in through the middle, tie it off, and then you're going to take your ribbon and you're going to weave it in and out of your eyelet area through here, and then you will be done. And then it's done. That's how you make a simple bonnet with a lace trim.